All right, guys, let's talk about how to earn $44,625 tax-free without using a 401k. So a little bit of a context, I'm a millennial and I earn six figures, 100K. And I live very frugally. I have a 401k and I follow things by the book, but following this path, I am not going to retire. And I mentioned in my last video on qualified dividends, basically what has happened is that recently, the US has crossed a national debt of 33 trillion. And just a year ago, it was at 30 trillion. So in just one year, we added $3 trillion to that debt. And the only way that they're gonna pay that down is either by raising taxes or by printing more money, both of which robs me at the end of the day. Not only me, but it robs you too. As if that wasn't bad enough, we have banks stealing customer deposits in broad daylight. And these are national banks, guys, which makes one think that you really can't trust having your cash in banks anymore. So that really made me think, that really made me ponder, you know, what can we do to escape this? And the answer to that was qualified dividends, because that is a way for you to retire without having to pay taxes and without your stocks or ETFs that pays those qualified dividends being in a Roth account. So NerdWallet reported that for singles in 2023, you can actually receive qualified dividends up to $44,625 tax-free. So up to that amount, you pay no taxes. So that gives us one third of the formula. See, the amount that you need to invest to earn $44,625 is investment amount, is equal to annual dividend income divided by dividend yield, where our annual dividend income is $44,625. How do you find the other two? How do you find the dividend yield? Well, you just go on any site like ETFTB and find the dividend yield reported for the ETF or stock that you're interested in. Today, we're gonna take a look at JEP, JEPQ, and SEHD, which are JP Morgan and Schwab investments, mainly because they're popular in their great search terms. Now, there's a risk to any sort of investment, and I pick these investments mainly because they're less likely to go broke. I mean, it's JP Morgan and Charles Schwab right but with Jeff B their dividend yield is 9.73% Jeff Q is 11.81% SEHD is 3.6% so that gives us the second part to our formula which are the dividend yields but with these numbers we just plug them in into our formula and we can calculate exactly how much we need to invest in order to earn the $44,625 of qualified dividends tax-free and when you do that you find out that with JEPQ, it's $378,000. With JEPI, it's $458,000. And with SEHD, is a full $1,235,000. So that's the amount you have to invest in each of those in order to earn the full $44,625 qualified dividends. Now, with any investments, there are risks, even with safer ETFs or mutual funds or stocks, right? So dividend rates can change. Dividend rates can just completely be wiped out or the ETF can even fail so those can all happen but you know it's one way to actually earn passive income without doing anything at all right it's what you should do if you're a straight nine to fiver and you're not looking to do anything entrepreneurial like it's the great way to actually earn money without actually having to pay any taxes but if you want even a safer way in order to earn passive income risk-free then you should check out the video that I made here